Welcome to the Introduction to Perennial Crops video. This video will cover various crop types, crop identification, and some crop planting for some of our perennial fruits and vegetables. There are various types of perennial crops. I have listed six of them here. Oftentimes we think of our crops as just fruits or vegetables, but instead we will talk here about the various different types of crops that you can harvest. The first is edible leaves. Many perennial crops, are their leaves are edible, and this is the part that we would like to harvest. One example of this is water celery. The second type is edible fruits that can be used as vegetables. The third is edible shoots, such as asparagus, which we will talk about later in this video. Fourth are edible pods or beans, such as different varieties of runner beans that could be perennial. The fifth is edible flowers, such as our artichoke, which is an edible flower. Last is our colony forming root crops, such as horseradish or other tubers, such as Jerusalem artichoke. We will go over crop identification and crop planting for some of these perennial crops in this list. There are many more that we will discuss in our course, but these are some of the main ones we will discuss. The last part of this video is an introduction to planting asparagus. This is our first perennial crop and it's called a ramp or a wild leek. These are found naturally throughout our woodland and some of our prairie land. It can easily be identified because of its long shoot and it smells just like a leek or an onion wood. The next crop we have here is a strawberry bush. We will discuss and examine various different berry bushes throughout our course. Strawberries are one that we will have on site. There are various different types of strawberries. Some strawberries are ever bearing and fruit and harp you can harvest twice a season and some you can only harvest early in the season in June. Berries are distinctive based on the shape of their leaves, their serrated edges. This next crop is called a Jerusalem artichoke or a sunchoke. It is identifiable by its small yellow flowers that look somewhat like a sunflower. These are considered colony forming root crops. They look set just like this. They have clusters of roots and they can easily be harvested and transplanted. These types of crops you want to harvest only part of that colony and leave the rest for it to replenish the following season. This is an image of what I did last season. I took out some Jerusalem artichoke from the community garden. I harvested the whole colony of roots and I transplanted into four different plants on this mound. This is the last crop that I will discuss before I show the introduction to asparagus planting video. It is rhubarb. It is a perennial crop that has edible shoots. Rhubarb is planted very similar to asparagus. The next portion of this video is a demonstration of how to plant asparagus. We're prepping a bed for our asparagus today. This is a four foot by 10 foot bed that will hold 10 different crowns of asparagus. Right now, we are aerating the soil and we'll move on to digging a trench. The next step in planting the asparagus is digging a trench about a foot deep and about four feet wide. We have our trench dug and now we're going to put compost and manure in mounds throughout the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to take some of this nicely mixed compost manure. You can also add your topsoil if you'd like. And then you're going to make a mound in the middle of this bed about 12 inches by 12 inches. So a foot by foot. And 
continue throughout the bed. This is where you will plant your asparagus spears. You want to plant your asparagus spears about um, 12 to 18 inches apart from each other. And if you're doing several rows, you're going to want to be even further, three to four feet apart. But well, we're just doing one row here of about 10 spears. Today we're planting two different varieties of asparagus. This is a green variety. It's called the Jersey Night Giant. It's one of the most popular varieties. And what we're going to do is place it on the mound that we've built here. The mound here is about uh, three inches from the top. So we've positioned it so that we can put our asparagus right on top of it. Now there's two different parts of the asparagus. This here is the asparagus bud and you want to face that upwards so then this is where the spears will grow out of. And this is the crown on the bottom, the center of the plant. So what we're going to do is place it gently onto your mound like so, spreading it out so that these can take root. And then we will cover with about three inches of compost or topsoil mixed in. Like I said, we'll put the next one about 12 to 18 inches apart. So we're going to put that one about, like, is that how you want it? Yeah. about right here, and so on and so forth. Our second variety is a purple heirloom variety. So we've laid out all of the asparagus buds just like this and we've covered the first one. What you want to do is you want to put two to three inches of compost over the entire asparagus. You don't want to add too much compost because if it's down too deep the roots will rot and it won't grow nicely. So I'm going to cover this second one and we're going to keep going down the line. And you just gently cover the whole thing two to three inches. 